Hi everyone, my name is Alex Chong, and today I'm going to present using POCUS to diagnose gout. Here's just an overview. We're going to go over the background of gout along with a case study, talk about the setup and technique of using POCUS, give a little video demonstration, see what findings are expected when diagnosing gout, and talk about the next steps after using POCUS to diagnose gout. So here's our case study. So this actually happened in the clinic. We had a 55-year-old male patient, no past medical history, was overall doing just fine. And when we asked questions at the end, at first he said, no, everything is fine. But he had a little bit of look of worry. So I asked him again, and that's when he revealed that he had a bump on his foot that he realizes has been growing for some time. He hasn't had any trouble with it. In fact, he's been running some marathons recently and that's not been bothering him. The only time it does bother him is when he's been wearing shoes for a long time. So he was curious what it was, and we used POCUS to find out that it was actually gout. Just a review of what gout is. Gout is a form of inflammatory arthritis, usually caused by buildup of uric acid that leads to crystal formation in joints. And some symptoms that you expect are pain, swelling, redness, and heat. So a little bit about the setup and technique of what you need to diagnose gout on POCUS. So some materials are the linear probe. Linear probe will give you the highest resolution and linear is fine because you're not gonna go super deep when looking for gout. You also need gel and paper towels. For the setup, you just need the patient's foot placed somewhere comfortably. And for the approach, you can place the probe directly over the foot or knee in some patients who are complain about knee pain being mindful of pressure and that all angles of the area are investigated. And the next couple slides are gonna show some videos of how to do POCUS on the knee and the toe. So here's a little video demonstration of how to use POCUS on the knee. This is me using the linear probe to just scan the knee. It's important to find all the angles and discover for any of the findings I'm gonna talk about in the next couple slides. Here's another one about the toe, again emphasizing that it's important to scan all the angles just to make sure that nothing is missing whenever you're scanning the toe. So here are some of the findings that you should expect when finding gout in one's toe, and I'm going to describe some of these findings found in this picture. The asterisk tophi, which are just some crystal formations. The short arrows show some multiple echogenic foci, and the longer arrows show some osseous erosion. So these three things are the main findings you should expect if a patient has gout in either their knee, the foot, or the toe. So let's say you did find someone who has gout in their toe. What are some of the next steps that the patient can take once you give them the news that they likely have gout? As you probably remember in your classes, here are some of the typical treatments. You can use NSAIDs to deal with the pain, colchicine to kind of clear out the uric acid crystals, corticosteroids to reduce inflammation, and hydration is also a good step for a patient to follow as well. However, this patient was interesting because in the location where the gout was formed, it was actually wrapping around one of the tendons of his foot. So he had a decision to make. Can he just tolerate it and just live with it until it gets more serious, especially since it was not bothering him at the time? Or can he pursue surgery in order to ensure that it won't cause any more trouble later? However, the problem with surgery is that since they're gonna mess around the tendon, it's less likely that he'll be able to run to the ability that he had earlier. Because of this, the patient at the end decided to just tolerate it and see how he does with maybe some of the typical treatments that are on this slide. So that's how you find gout on POCUS ultrasound. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and have a great rest of your day.